everybody! Welcome to the Jada and Stitches Show. Last week, we took you on a tour of Mary Maxim in Paris, Ontario. Mary Maxim sells a lot of needle craft supplies, in particular yarn, and we picked up a bunch of things. We told you we would show you everything we got in a later video, and that's what we're going to do today. And stay tuned to the end of the video so I can show you what Mr. and Stitches bought me for my birthday while I was busy in the yarn section. <laughs> if you missed that video, you can check it out by clicking up here or on the link in the description box down below. All right, let's get into that bag. <laughs> I know a lot of you saw this bag in the last video and said, uh, how did you get out of there with buying so little? <laughs> and I just want to take a moment and say sheer self-restraint. I loved everything. If I had I had an unlimited budget, I probably would have brought the whole store home with me. But I really wanted to pay attention to picking up stuff that I don't typically see or buy. So I stepped outside of my comfort zone and I picked up a bunch of things that I found very attractive but also things that I really am looking forward to trying out. So first and foremost I'm going to introduce you to this. This is called Unique Fingering. This is extra fine superwash merino yarn and it's hand dyed in Turkey. Um, this is so pretty I thought it looked like a forest. So if we go out for a walk in the woods, sometimes when the sun filters down through the canopy, these are sort of the colors that look like are coming down from the canopy. So it made me think of the forest, which is why I had to pick it up. It is a very fine weight yarn and like I said, it's a merino. So that's that's 100% wool. I don't do a lot of work with wool. Um, sometimes I find it itchy. Also, I, it makes me nervous to create something really nice and then worry about its care. But the feel of this yarn and the beautiful hand-dyed colors uh, just sort of made me say, no, 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 definitely buy a, buy a skein, take it home, try it out, and, and see what you feel. Um, I like the softness of it so much that I think I'm going to be, just because it's such a small little ball of yarn, um, I'm going to make something really, really simple, like a little neck kerchief or a little scarf. Um, something with a finer hook because this is a very thin lightweight yarn. Uh, a little bit more information on this. It is, I love this too, this is an, another one of the reasons I bought it. This was in partnership with Trees for the Future. So every skein of Earth Yarns, and Earth is the company, plants a tree in Africa. So every time they make a ball of this, they plant a tree, which I think is kind of neat. Um, I can't remember how much this was. Oh, this was $29.99, so $30 Canadian for that skein of yarn, but because it's 100% merino wool and it's hand dyed from Turkey, um, obviously it's a very fancy import, so I felt that it was worth splurging on. All right, what's next? Aha, all right, here's one. Mr. and Stitches picked this one out. This is <laughs> Lang Yarns Super Socks, and it's super washed. This is also... Uh, this is made in Italy. It's 75% virgin wool and 25% nylon. So it's really great for socks. It's also a fingering weight or a fine weight, like a size one, very thin uh, weight category yarn. This ball, I don't know if this actually has a color. Um, no, it just, <laughs> it just says super socks color. Uh, it's a nice sort of variegated yarn, but the it's got a lot of sort of very masculine sort of tones in it, which is probably why Mr. and Stitches picked it out. I think he's suggesting I make him a pair of socks, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, nice feeling ball of yarn. This was um, 500 grams. So no, I'm sorry. It's a this is a 100 gram ball of yarn or 420 meters. So that's how much is in that ball of yarn. Uh, I th this also suggests too on the label how many balls of yarn you might need for a pair of socks. So uh, for a pair of men's socks, they're suggesting 500 grams. So you'd probably want five balls of this, but that seems like it. I don't know how long the socks are. Uh, and for a woman's socks, 450 grams. I only got one ball of it because I'll probably make myself a pair of um, fingerless gloves because <laughs> I don't feel there's enough here to make a pair of socks for Mr. and Stitches. Um, but I don't know, I might come up with some other ideas, if, especially if Mr. and Stitches really likes the feel of it, then I might try and make him a little something, possibly a very thin little um, neck scarf for when the autumn weather comes, which will be in a few months. I know we're heading into the summer, but the fall will come. So I really like that. That was a choice of Mr. and Stitches. Ah, oh, this one's beautiful. Okay, this is Estelle. This is Yarns by Estelle. Uh, this is another brand I've never seen before. 
This is 50% cotton and 50% wool. I think Mr. and Stitches also picked out this ball of yarn because he was really kind of enamored by the fact that it was all natural fibers, but 50% wool, 50% cotton. It's very soft. It doesn't feel itchy like wool sometimes does. It's also a very fine weight yarn, um, so that's probably a size one, size two uh, weight yarn category. And this is probably, this is kind of a, a rainbow effect. Another reason Mr. and Stitches picked it out because he knows I love that so much. But it's very muted, um, so it's got purple or lilac, I guess, sort of an aqua, a sage green, and um, a nice warm red color. And they're all kind of intermixed before they stripe, which I think is kind of a neat effect. So I'm looking forward to trying that out in something. Uh, this is made in Turkey. It's 200 grams or 680 meters. So there's quite a bit packed into that little cake. I think that's really, really pretty. There's a triangle pattern on the label, um, a triangular, triangular shawl pattern, but it's for knitting. Uh, but again, because I only bought one skein of this, I'll probably turn it into something like a lighter weight shawl or a scarf, a scarflet, one of those little triangular ones. Uh, but I don't know, if you guys have got any suggestions of your own, please leave them in the description box down below and uh, we'll see if we can do it with one ball of yarn. All right. I know a lot of you saw me pick this one up and oogle it <laughs> in the last video. This is what Mr. and Stitches called the Licorice All Sorts Ball of Yarn. It was so fantastically beautiful that I absolutely had to get it. It does look like Licorice All Sorts. Um, now this I think is one of the few balls that I got that was actually 100% acrylic. So I made a comment in last week's video that I had initially picked up a bunch of acrylic yarns because that's what I'm typically drawn to, but then I realized all of the other selections of yarns they had that were so pretty and very different and I put back most of the acry acrylic and started trying to get other balls of yarn, but I kept this one. This is by a company called Nako. And there's even Turkish writing on the label, which I thought was really cool. It's definitely made in Turkey. Made in Turkey. Um, there's a lot on here that I can't read, <laughs> which I think is also kind of neat. Um, it doesn't have a color in particular, it just has a number. And um, it was in the clearance section, so I don't know if it's in clearance because it was in the middle of being discontinued, or they just had a batch and they were getting rid of it, or what. But uh, again, only bought one ball, but I do like to do a lot of single ball projects, or mix these things in with other uh, solid colors that I had, but again, love those combination of colors. As you can tell, so far everything we've got here is a multicolored ball of yarn. <laughs> sort of my passion. Um, this says, tested for harmful substances, so that's nice too. That means that this acrylic is, it says 100% premium acrylic, tested for harmful substances, which I like. It's 100 grams or 210 meters, so that's what's in that ball of yarn. That's a standard size for medium weight yarn, and just obviously I was attracted by the colors, so had to get that. Oh my god, I forgot a lot. I forgot all about these things. Okay, I got this. I think I have three of these. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, four. All right, so this is a Mary Maxim brand of yarn. Had to get some Mary Maxim stuff too. I have four of them. My sister-in-law picked out those colors because I said I wanted something that kind of reminded us of the beach and she felt that looked like the beach sand and sea foam and I think she's right. I just love those colors. So there's sort of some sea foam green, a bit of aqua, a bit more of a, a lighter sage, and a very light, light sand color. Just love those colors. This is 52% um, cotton, 48% bamboo, and I think that there's 100 grams in each ball, or 245 yards, 224 meters. So this is a cotton bamboo mix by Mary Maxim. It's called Simply Natural. I really like the feel of it. I think this is one that my mother-in-law, Mama and Stitches, picked up because she, she, she loves her cotton yarn and she really liked the feel of it. I loved how the the um, there's a bit of a sheen to the yarn, which apparently the bamboo does. So if you have bamboo fibers in your yarn, it will often help give a bit of a sheen to the yarn. And I thought these were so pretty. I was thinking about kind of creating a project that reminded me of the beach. So either a, a short little cover-up or maybe a, a lightweight scarf or a shawl. I do love those things. I wear a lot of shawls, especially in the, the cooler weather, um, even in the warm weather at night. Um, and I just loved that combination together. So I had to get four of those.
Okay. I think there are only three of these too. Yeah. All right. These ones are so darn cute. Again, I had to get them. These are also Mary Maxim brand yarn, um, and they're specifically little balls of yarn made for making amigurumi, or little crocheted or knit characters. So we've done some amigurumi here on the show before. I do love making little tiny stuffed toys. Um, love the colors. These are 51% acrylic, 49% cotton. So they also have a really nice feel. They are a little bit smaller than a size 4, so this is a size 3 or a light, lighter weight yarn, lighter than a size 4, uh, which makes it really great for making small stitches with a small hook so that you can have a sort of a pint sized little character. Mr. and Stitches helped me pick out those colors because I absolutely loved the bright cheerfulness of them, and I haven't decided on what little characters to make yet, but had to have it, really like the feel of it, colors are really rich and pretty. Um, each. Each ball is 50 grams or 130 meters, so there's more than enough in there to make a little stuffed toy. And of course, I picked up three different colors, so I'll probably get three, four, maybe even five little amigurumi out of that. Uh, loved those colors, had to get them, plus love the packaging. I like the little, the little pictures on them. <laughs> okay, three more. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, these are so pretty. Okay, also, a Mary Maxim brand of yarn. This is called Marvelous Chunky. I picked up three of them because, you know me and my variegated yarn, I can't get enough. I just thought those color combinations in particular were absolutely to die for, especially this one. I don't know what it is about that, but that combination just makes my heart sing. Um, beautiful. I love the colors. I love that it's a thick, chunky yarn, and there's two twisting um, colors that are also sort of variegated or self-striping that twist throughout. So it has a really neat effect. You can, you can really see that almost a bit of a tweedy kind of look because of the way the yarns twist together. I'm pretty sure this is acrylic. 100% acrylic. It's a 200 gram ball or 250 meters in each ball. It's a size 5 chunky weight yarn. Um, Yes, or they call it a size 5 bulky. A little while ago they started changing the names of the weight categories, but a size 5 is still a step up from a medium size 4. And it's not super bulky, it's not what I would think of as bulky, but this is what I would call a chunky weight yarn. Beautiful color, really nice feel. And while I was staring looking at them, um, a, a gentleman sort of struck up a conversation with me and said that uh, he was just picking up another ball of this stuff because he was finishing off a sweater for his daughter. He really liked this yarn. I was initially attracted by the pretty little colors, but I really liked the feel, and I love a big ball of yarn. A big ball of yarn has a lot of potential for me, so to me, I think to myself, hmm, there's enough for a hat and possibly a pair of wristers in there, definitely a really big scarf, and I like to have a whole lot of that one pretty um, chunky color so I can broaden the range of projects that I consider, and um, I'm not going to run out too soon. So nice, big, beautiful balls of chunky weight twisted yarn. Once again, that's Mary Maxim Marvelous Chunky. Uh, the colors are, so these are all made in Turkey. Um, does this one have a name? This one's called Sweet Stuff. <laughs> I like that. Uh, this one's called Rockin' Red. And this one is Berry Blast. So Sweet Stuff, Rock and Red, and Berry Blast. Really, really pretty. Nice combinations. Can't wait to use them in something. And one more little thing. Saw this and I was instantly charmed. So I know you've probably seen packages of these little things. Uh, I think Lion Brand makes a set called Bon Bons. Um, li little <laughs> I'm kind of attracted to little mini miniature things. For those of you who watch the show and you know that I'm really into dolls and miniatures, that probably comes as no surprise. But a pretty little package of miniature balls of yarn just refused to let go of my eyeballs. There was this color combination and then there was a set that was all in pastel. So it was kind of a difficult choice, but I decided to go with the brighter, bolder colors. This is also Nako. So it's the same people that made this ball of yarn. They call them Mini. Um, this is all, doesn't even say where it's made, I might say, oh my gosh, even the writing is tiny on the little packages, it's so cute. In accordance with British standard. Hmm, that's neat, I hadn't read that before. Anyway, there's a bunch of, <laughs> what I assume to be Turkish writing on it, it's 100% premium acrylic, 
and each one of these little guys is 10 grams, so a tiny little ball of yarn. And it's a lighter weight yarn, it's possibly even a size 2 or a size 1, like a fine weight yarn. So you could use this for very tiny projects. You could use it to make little tiny stuffed toys, little amigurumi, little tiny wee ones. You might consider making little bits of jewelry. You could use it for embroidery. There's a lot of uses for a thin weight yarn. Um, and because they all came in a nice little package like that, I just kind of had it because, I don't know, look at it, it's so cute. <laughs> so that is all the yarn that we picked up. Um, I, if I had stayed longer, I would have bought more. Like I said, I kind of went through the whole store, picked up a bunch of things, put them all back because I thought, no, 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 I want to try some stuff that I don't usually get to see anywhere else. So this is what we decided on. And there's one other thing I want to show you guys today, and it's what Mr. and Stitches bought me for my birthday. Let me just clear the table because it's kind of large. <laughs> While I was busy looking for yarn and asking Mama and Stitches' opinion and my sister-in-law's opinion and checking out what they had bought, Mr. and Stitches was sneaking around the store asking questions, and he found me something that I was pretty excited about. What is this, you may ask? Ta-da! <laughs> he got me a yarn winder! I'm so excited! Um, several live streams ago, we were talking about these, and a lot of you had them. We were asking for everyone to sort of weigh in with their, their experiences, which particular winders they thought were really good, which ones they thought maybe weren't worth it. Sizing, we did a whole bunch of research, and I have been looking for a ball winder for quite a while, but while we were there, Mr. and Stitches found this one, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's wooden, it's rainbow wood, and in an upcoming video, we're going to do a full proper unboxing for you so that we can take it apart, show you how it works, and get a nice close up look at it. But I wanted to show you this up front uh, before we do that video, just so you can, I guess, sort of like a little teaser, you can see that, yes, I did finally get a ball winder. I know a lot of you are asking, and we will open this up and take a good close look at it and uh, put it through its paces in an upcoming video. So I wanted to show you that because I was super excited about it. Thank you to my Mr. and Stitches for that. And um, yeah, that was our haul from Mary Maxim in Paris, Ontario. Love this yarn. A lot of it's really, really um, different fibers that I've never tried before. And of course, it's all, most of it, if not all of it, um, yeah, all of it. They're all brands that I had never seen and hadn't really had any um, experience with. I have used a little bit of Mary Maxim yarn. In fact, there is some Mary Maxim yarn in this year's calendar blanket. It's the pretty ocean blue color at the bottom of the blanket. That's Mary Maxim Starlet, I believe. And uh, I enjoyed working with it, so I was pretty comfortable buying up a whole bunch of Mary Maxim yarn while I was there, having had the recent experience with the other acrylic. So. so we will cook up some projects to use up that yarn with, and we will give you guys um, some more suggestions while we're in the middle of using it. I'm really looking forward to trying things with that yarn that I haven't tried before. Uh, maybe some hook sizes that are a little outside of my regular uh, approach to crochet and definitely playing with those fibers and we will definitely talk about uh, care and maintenance of those fibers when we make those projects because it's different than acrylic and what we use a lot of around here. So, we hope you enjoyed that little haul from Mary Maxim in Paris, Ontario. Uh, this wasn't a sponsored video or anything, we just wanted to show you what we picked up while we were on our trip last week. Feel free to ask any questions or comments about this yarn or even the ball winder in the comment section down below, and we will see you guys here soon on the Jaden Stitches Show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have an awesome week. Bye everybody! Hi everybody! Mr. and Stitches here. Thank you for watching today. Here are some of our other videos you might be interested in. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe!